I just wanted to do this video um, for the Mono Price Maker Ultimate 3D Printer on how easy it is to add a glass uh, bed to it. So I have this glass bed here. I, I bought the, the glass separately. Um, and then I also bought some thermal silicone. Basically it helps transfer the heat uh, from the, the bed to the glass. Um, uh, and I'll leave descriptions down in the, I'll leave links in the description down below. So basically all you have to do is this side is uh, semi sticky. It's not like total tape like sticky, but it's enough to stick to the glass. So you'll have to cut it. It comes in a bigger sheet than you need. So if you'll cut, you just cut out the uh, the piece there and you have another, another section left over for later if you need it. Uh, so basically, uh, once you get that put on there, you'll put it in the middle here. Right. Then you'll need to use at least two clips. Now originally I thought the uh, silicone would hold the print and it uh, hold to the build plate with the silicone. And it does to an extent, but when you're doing large, long prints, um, I've had it actually move. So, um, one thing to remember um, about the um, uh, clips here is you do have this fan area here that can hit it. Um, so, um, I usually try, I, I don't put one back here because this is, uh, uh, usually hit this fan section hits it here. Uh, as long as your print's not this far over, you should be okay. Um, just be aware of the fan part actually hitting the clips here. And then I'll take and I'll put the other one back over here in the back side. Which it's kind of hard to get to right now, but I'll put it about right back in here. And the good thing about this printer is there's plenty of room all around. And you can just leave the, uh, you don't have to flip these back in. You can just leave that in there. Now. So, um, uh, second of all, when you do put this glass plate on here, you have to remember to re-level the bed. Um, and then also because you have, um, it's actually taller now, you've got to remember back here in the back. Well, get the camera here so hopefully we can see it better. So back there in the back at the top, you see that little lever? Let's see if I can get my hand in here. Uh, the lever right here. You need to remember, you may need to adjust that because you do have a, a set screw down there that touches it just to make sure that um, uh, that it don't go up too far and damage something. So that set screw is pretty easy uh, to move. It's not locked down as far as I can say. Now, you may not have to move it. Just, just be aware of it that it's there. And that is just the stop point to keep the uh, bed from coming up too high. So the... Uh um, also, then, when uh, you do get your glass bed on there, uh, you do got to remember that um, your print needs to be able to stick to it in order not to slide around. Um, you've got uh, three different options that I have found to do that, and that is your glue stick. Any type of glue stick, just like that. Um, also, uh, one that I'm fixing to try, I haven't tried yet, just some simple painter's tape. Um, I haven't had a lot of excess out of the the glue stick. Um, I believe it's because they've changed the formula to the majority of them, making them washable and they're not as sticky. Um, and they dry really easy. So I'm going to try the painter's tape. Uh, the other one that I've tried is hairspray. And I've had a lot more success out of this than I have a hairspray. Um, I've tried multiple hairsprays. I've tried doing the letting it set for an hour. Um, uh, doing with a heavy coat and it just I mean it would not grip the um, the ink so uh, just a reminder when you do go to a glass bed you got to remember you got to have something on there to make to let the filament stick to it all right thank you so um, uh, that's how I added a glass bed to my printer and uh, I hope you enjoyed watching this video and that it could be helpful. Thank you.